2022 was a new era in golf club technology from TaylorMade. It was, of course, the carbon wood era. The red face on this driver would be seen in the hands of Rory, Tiger and Co from TaylorMade pretty much everywhere across the world. And as you would expect from the marketing team at TaylorMade, they went into overdrive and made sure that this club was instantly recognisable. And before we go any further, I just want to have a quick look at the face of my current driver, which, despite what the naysayers have got to say, it's in perfect condition. No signs of wear and tear or whatsoever, despite continued use. So carbon wood face so far, in my opinion, is performing extremely well. And the thing is, I love this driver head, and maybe more importantly, I love this driver's shaft. And the combination of the two has meant that I've probably hit the best drives in terms of overall performance that I've achieved ever since I started playing golf. But you see that shot I just played probably typifies the problem with stealth and why I've decided to dump it. You see that last shot, well, it kind of, it was okay. It was probably a realistic swing from me and then I'm always gonna hit that sort of cutty fade shot. And the problem is on the odd occasion, that fade just becomes a little bit too exaggerated. The problem with Stealth 1, the original, if you like, is perhaps that dispersion element in terms of control left and right. And whilst it's been really consistent, the one thing I've noticed, if I do put any spin on it in terms of left to right, in terms of a little bit too much spin, it can often exaggerate that issue. And that's the reason why I'm afraid. I think it's got to go, you know. So the big question is, what am I changing to? And more importantly, why? Today's video is brought to you in partnership with Hot Golf, the online golf megastore, bringing you the hottest deals in golf. And of course, the clubs featured in today's video. Find the link to the Hot Golf website in the description below and check out some incredible giveaways and offers. You see, the first dilemma is I love this golf shaft and I also like that carbon wood face in terms of I love the sound and feel that comes out of this thing which is very very different than other drivers so that's a big issue for me to resolve and you see it was on this exact golf hole that persuaded me to make that change when I tried this driver for the very first time this driver is still got a carbon wood face it is obviously still a stealth but it's Stealth 2 and it's a very different model. This is in fact the Stealth 2 HD. It's a nine degree head. It does everything that Stealth originally did in terms of sound, feel, in terms of ball speeds and overall performance, but it does one thing for me significantly better and that's keep the ball a little bit straighter. You see, they did one significant thing with Stealth HD and that was put a 30 gram weight in the back end of this thing, but nearer to the heel end, which meant they could do two things. They kept high MOI, which was significant. I didn't want to lose anything in terms of forgiveness, but that slight bit of draw bias made a huge change in the way I hit the ball in terms of dispersion down on those fairways. And this hole made all the difference because I first tested out the HD model back in Jan February time and this is a hole where I like to hit left to right but again with that original stealth if it didn't quite get that right and imparted too much spin on it then there's every chance I would be in those bushes to my right hand side so it always made it become a very nervy tee shot. What this draw bias has allowed me to do is remain swinging exactly the same way as I always have done. So not make any swing changes, which is arguably, like I've already said, debatable as to whether or not you should, you know, train your swing better. Or in this case, what I've done is rely on a little bit of weighting to help me swing the same way. But that draw bias is effectively working against my fade and more often than not is straightening out my drives. And that's a huge, huge reason for change for me. But there are, however, in my opinion, three major things that changed in terms of Stealth 2, in terms of improvements on Stealth 1. And that was forgiveness, dispersion, 
and the size of the sweet spot itself, which are all major benefits. And then for me on a personal level, it's the significant difference that the HD offers to my type of swing. And the way they did that was really interesting. Now what HD does is allows me to hit exactly the same swing. So no change up, expecting to fade it, but it should hopefully just show how this straightens me up a little. And there it goes, just that little bit of movement. Coming straight back to the middle of the fairway. And you just wonder, and the question I keep asking myself is, when I hit that cutty shot, when you hit it with the original stealth, that movement is more significant. I've got to make more and more effort to try and work my swing to work to the golf club, which is a good thing in many ways, I suppose many would say. But what the HD is allowing me to do is not manipulate my swing, swing with what I feel comfortable with, with the type of swing that can find the fairway on as many occasions as possible. Which, let's be honest, that's all we all want to do. And it was the construction of that head that made the difference. Engineers utilised the weight that was saved from the full carbon body and shifted the weight closer to the heel. It basically, what I said earlier, allowed them to maintain a draw bias with extreme MOI. And what they're saying is Stealth 2 HD is the most, most stable and forgiving driver within their whole Stealth lineup. Do I want forgiveness? Absolutely. And do I want stability? Absolutely. And coupled with that driver's shaft as well, it really is a huge improvement, to be honest with you, on where I was at in terms of overall performance with that original Stealth 1 as much as I did love it. Finally, there are some aesthetic differences between the two. There's a little bit more red and there's a little more, bit more gloss that comes in on Stealth 2. The kind of really notable bit that I actually like is there's a red accent round the rear end of the crown, which to me shrinks the head down a tad and gives a slightly different profile perhaps to what it actually is. I really like what they've done there. If I had one negative, I prefer the matte crown that was on the original Stealth rather than the high gloss that they've ended up putting on this new Stealth 2. But overall, I think the kind of, uh, the improvements are there, albeit subtle ones in terms of, in general, from Stealth 1 to Stealth 2. But I think it's really the HD model that is the bit that has changed things significantly for me on a personal level. And all I would urge is this, is that every golfer talks about, or a lot of golfers talk about custom fit is not a thing and doesn't play a major part. I think just this minor movement in weight, which I've often questioned in the past in just sort of how much different does that weight change actually make? Well, that 30 grams has significantly changed the weight distribution in the HD model, and it's made a notable difference. If you just watch this drive again that I've just played off this last shot of the day, it probably again sort of really drives home my message where I spoke to Hannah on camera and just sort of said, you can see the ball wants to move its way a little bit more from left to right. And it just seems to hold its line just that little bit more. And that's a major difference for me in terms of performance benefits. Anyway, now you know why I dumped Stealth because I went into Stealth 2 and I went into the HD model and I'm absolutely loving it, but I can't not reference that shaft as well, which has been a key improvement for me, I think on a personal level. Anyway, as ever, I'm gonna finish off with a few uh, shots here, and I'm gonna make my way to that clubhouse there, have a drink on this gorgeous sunny day at Hollywell Golf Club, and I'll see you all tomorrow night.